During the tough economic conditions, a lot of people have put forward plans to help local businesses hold off the recession and continue to make money. One of them put to the government a few months back was the Buy Australia campaign, which aimed to give preferential treatment to Aussie companies when the government buys all its goods and services, and it encouraged you to do the same. It sounds like a good idea, but how do you know which companies are actually Australian? Products, products and more products. Every day we're faced with something being sold to us. There are so many options out there, and the supermarket is where most of us make the choice of what we'd like to buy. But how do you decide on what you want? Is it price or taste, or maybe even how bright the packaging is? Or well, one thing you probably haven't thought of is where the product comes from. Products brought in from overseas are called imports. USA is where most of our imports come from, followed by China, then Japan. We pay them money and they sell us their stuff. But what you might have noticed is that by doing that, our money is heading overseas. Thank you. But some Australians have a problem with that. They say that money that heads overseas can't help our economy. It'll help theirs instead. So if you spend your money on something Australian, then the money is more likely to stay here. So it's a pretty good thing for local businesses who need to hire more staff, who spend more money, which is all awesome for our economy. So how can you tell which of your products are Australian and which aren't? Well, there are three main types of labels you'll find on your food at home. The first says made in Australia, like on this Vegemite. And while this might sound good, all it means is that more than half of the cost of producing it was spent here. The company that makes Vegemite is actually owned overseas, so that's where some of the profits could go. The second label is product of Australia, like on this long life milk. This means it's mostly made here, and at least some of the ingredients are from Australia too. But the company still doesn't have to be owned here. The third label is Australian owned and made, like on these cornflakes. And it's the best of all the labels for local businesses. It means that the product is made here and the company is mostly owned here. So the profits will hopefully stay put. This is the basis of the campaign to buy Australian. And unions here spend a lot of time trying to convince the government to do as much of its spending here as possible. But originally, they said no. No. Wait up, why would they say no to something that seems so good for the country? Well, there are some benefits to buying things overseas. Things made in bigger countries can often be made much, much cheaper than here at home. And if we buy lots of things from other countries, they're often more happy to buy things off us. So it's a complicated argument. Eventually, the government agreed to try to buy Australian. Yes. yes. And it will set up a campaign to convince us to do the same. It's hoping that extra money bouncing around the country will result in a healthier economy and healthy smiles from producers too.